Yeah, it's a big week there. And probably four or five years, Dan, I was always questioning how could Microsoft uh, keep moving from a performance standpoint, less of a performance standpoint, more of a cost standpoint, and compete with, with AWS, who has been doing uh, first-party silicon for the data center for, for close to a decade. And we did get get our, our, our answer there. And, you know, net-net, there's a... Uh, an accelerator for AI inference and training uh, called uh, Maya. And then there is a, a CPU, an ARM-based CPU called uh, Cobalt. Uh, you can go and, and read all the details. I've, I've had uh, over 100,000 people uh, read Ooh. my stuff on X and, and LinkedIn. I'll eventually get it up on, on my own website, maybe Forbes, I don't know. Uh, but it's been a, a very uh, provocative uh, a type of thing. I'm going to try to keep this uh, strategic uh, versus uh, uh, geek. Now, there there is some information that that, that we don't know yet. Uh, so, for instance, uh, how does this compete uh, performance-wise uh, versus AMD and Intel on the merchant side? But I think uh, more uh, importantly versus AWS and Google on the uh, on, on the custom side. Microsoft, uh, to me, I, I did see under NDA some uh, performance figures, and I did think they were compelling. Uh, those aren't public yet, but uh, I'm looking forward uh, to that. From a rollout standpoint, Microsoft is focusing uh, Maya on uh, Copilot. I consider that, right, a SaaS product. And then o Azure Open AI Service. Interesting, they said Microsoft Copilot or Azure Open AI Service, which which uh, I'll admit I don't completely understand the or uh, versus uh, the yeah. and there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one thing that Sam Altman said uh, that that leads me to believe that uh, current and and maybe some future, you know, trillion, uh, ten trillion parameter models might be done. For OpenAI, as Sam Altman said, that it was a co-collaboration to, to produce more capable and cheaper models. So I talked about performance uh, and I talked uh, about cost. The CPU uh, used on Maya is a fourth gen uh, Intel uh, CPU, uh, Go Intel. Uh, note that they did not use their own custom ARM uh, or, or AMD there. So, uh, uh, some details on, on Cobalt. It's based on uh, ARM Neoverse N2, and, and uh, N2 is the higher efficiency, not the max performance that, that we see from uh, other, other makers. And they said up to 40% improvement performance per core uh, versus the previous uh, uh, ARM server uh, that, that, that they have in there. Uh, uh, right now. So a couple big things that were interesting is I always thought that if Microsoft were going to do that, they're going to part with uh, a custom provider for maybe AMD or Marvell or Samsung Semi. They did not. They told me they went all, all the way from core IP design to SOC design to tape out and validation on their own, all the way to TSMC. How they stealth that, uh, I have no idea. And I don't, I don't consider one information article uh, as as a as a a giant uh, a giant leak. I said it. I, what I want in the future is performance data and pricing uh, versus the competitors. Uh, I will also want to know what the uh, dates for full IaaS support, as well as uh, SaaS support for Microsoft 365 uh, and Dynamic 365 and official. G88. Congratulations, Microsoft. You gave me more than I had expected. You did more than I expected as well, as opposed to uh, partnering. And it is game on at this point. Yeah, absolutely. That's some good insight, Pat. Uh, look, you know, I've had a lot of media reach out to me. This was a big moment. They're asking questions. Is this the take on moment? Is Microsoft going after Merchant Silicon? Um, I do think there's very much an AWS playbook here, you know, and like I said, each company is their own and, and Microsoft's doing some really innovative things with open AI. It's not a one good, one bad or one copying, but I'm saying there's some very 
uh, valuable lessons that could be learned from the past near decade that AWS has spent building its own uh, silicon uh, in the hyperscale cloud and offering that to their customers. But this is something that's been a long time coming. People that are surprised, I am asking them why. Like literally there's been like a thousand stories about this particular thing happening. And now we know what's happening and at what pace it is happening. Um, this is an opportune moment. I mean, let's be very clear about what's going on here. Vertical integration is the winning formula, uh, especially for Wall Street. Um, Apple made this model very evidently successful by, you know, the, in the Tim Cook era, verticalizing everything in its supply chain. Now, again, you can, uh, you've, we have seen there's been vulnerabilities there if you can't handle best in breed, but in things like, um, you know, a, a, an AI ASIC, this is very achievable. It's been very achievable. There's many building it and, and Microsoft is more than capable to do this. Um, you look at a core compute, uh, like what they're doing with Cobalt, very achievable. The uh, refactoring of workloads for ARM, the optimizing workloads for ARM has been going on for some time now. There was a period of time where this was a much heavier lift. The last several years, AWS has really paved the way to make these workloads run more and more efficiently. And let's be very candid about what this is. This is economics. I basically chalked this up to three things. I said it's 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 performance and optimizing performance of workloads on Azure. Two, it's it's power and efficiency. It's a sustainability story and an efficiency story. Every company's looking to get more efficient. Uh, and three, it's economics. Those two things drive economics. It's uh, you know spend less. Uh, from a standpoint of Microsoft, and potentially offer customers to spend less, and not so they spend less net. The idea is, is they keep raising up their bill, but more and more of that bill is going 100% to Microsoft. Does this mean they're going to run away from Merchant Silicon? Absolutely not. You saw actually at the event, they made announcements of Merchant Silicon. Um, you know, AMD and NVIDIA were on display. Uh, they will continue to be a, uh, a general store for consumption. So if you want Intel, you'll get Intel. You want NVIDIA, you get NVIDIA. You want AMD, you'll get AMD. This is Microsoft basically saying, we have an answer, choose your own adventure silicon wise, but if you want highest performance, optimized for Azure, optimized for the workloads that we're building around OpenAI and you wanna do it um, potentially at a lower price uh, while being more uh, cost efficient, they're putting their hand up and saying, we're gonna play the game. It's gonna be a lot of fun, Pat, to watch where this goes next.